it's your boy Dodger, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. And now, guys, the game has been out just as the uh, time of recording, just a little over or a little under two weeks, depending on what day this is going out. Uh, the time of recording has been out for about a week and a half, but uh, probably when it goes with about two weeks. Anyway, guys, my thoughts will start straight away with campaign. Campaign has got to be, in my opinion, now I'll just say that again. Uh, into the mic a bit clearer. <clears throat> In my opinion, this campaign is the best campaign I have played in a Call of Duty game. As you can see, I'm so, on this, uh, this. I haven't even completed it yet. But so, is, is that good? Right now, it's just amazing. I love it. I love everything about it. I mean, everything. I mean, everything's just amazing about it. I mean, just the graphics just alone in this game. I mean,. And not only that, but the maps, the, 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 the shape of the maps have done like this Piccadilly. And I've been there, uh, it's quite a bit down south for me, but I've been to Piccadilly. I've been to Piccadilly so uh, the today, Circus, like the main road and all that stuff. This is possibly they sent us in half just, it's exactly the same so everyone for everything. And just uh, the graphics in this compared to like, the older games. Even Black Ops 4 going just a little bit back like uh, you could do the, the specialist uh, missions where like you learn the backstory and stuff like that. Even the graphics compared to that, I'd say these are at least two times better. In my opinion. And the cutscenes just make you just care. The emotions you can see in her face. You were actually all intel on this. Quite a bit, sir. It's just amazing. Okay, go ahead. You're with me. Yeah, guys, so that's my opinion on okay, campaign out of 10. Probably a 9. Oh, Lord, it's no more for those extent. Alex is on the ground there looking for the stolen cars. And now I can't well, get out this uh, cutscene, so just wait a little bit. <laughs> Let it play out. You know Commander Kareem? We're acquainted. Use my name, or don't kill him. What is your message from Captain Price? Good evening. Hey, Kareem. <laughs> Call me Alex. I'm listening, Alex. This is classified. Hello, Aladami. Jazul Yalkom. It's just amazing. Even the detail to the head, into the hair itself, it's just amazing. 48 hours ago, terrorists stole a ship. That's it. Anyway, guys, bless that. Uh, we'll go into co op. I believe it's got yeah co-op, which is the Spec Ops missions. Yeah, and uh, I have played one or uh, maybe five, maybe a handful of games in Spec Ops. And I'm gonna be honest, I like the concept. Is it for me? Not really, but I understand where it's coming from. I understand the the story, uh, the roles that you know, that kind of stuff. The story-based operations you got to do, like go to here, breach here, go to here. It's like it's like a mini campaign within the game and I quite enjoy it but at the same time it's it's a little I'm not gonna lie it's a little hard <laughs> and uh, I did I played with uh, Michelle good you guys know regular on my channel and I also played with Haybo another one who's a uh, regular on my channel and uh, we got a couple in <laughs> Haybo left he, we, he he did not he just he did not like it I mean I mean I played a couple more after that I got kicked out for some reason twice <laughs> And, uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, we got pretty far into one. I think we got just after the stadium, where the juggernaut is down below the bridge. We got to there, and uh, after that, we just, we just cannot get past that. And I'm going to be honest, not my thing. Out of ten, probably about five or six. Because I know if I enjoyed it, and uh, I, I don't know, adapted to... Because I'm rushing. When I'm playing this, I am literally just rushing for enemies like I would do in multiplayer. And to be fair, I probably should be doing it, taking it a lot more slowly, conserving my ammo, stuff like that. At uh, communicating with uh, my teammates who are also there. So it's always good to have like a group of four to jump in with so you can communicate for a party chat or even uh, people who you know. So it's, you know each other better so you can respect each other's decisions and move according to the plan that you guys set out. But uh, if, I, if I could do that and uh, I wasn't trying to rush because I'm a very impatient person on this game, uh, then I probably would enjoy it a lot more. Probably push up to about a seven, but because, just for the fact that it's not to my taste, probably about five or six out of ten. And then to the main attraction, ladies and gentlemen, multiplayer. But I think we're going to split this into uh, about six categories. We've got the normal modes. I'm a very good fan of Team Deathmatch. 
love him. Love it completely. The only uh, problem is the shotguns, but at the same time, that's not something that um, the developers of Activision could actually really do a lot about, because it's the players playing it who are choosing these shotguns who are just running around going... Because <laughs> obviously, if they wanted to... Um, they want to make it more accessible for new players to come in, something to give them something easier to hold, you know, kill, so they get used to the game a little bit more. But the problem is with that, the current players who are used to that, who don't necessarily, I don't want to say care, but don't necessarily, we're not really ne necessarily bothered about, you know, the way they play. They just want high, you know, they just want higher kill death ratios and stuff like that. They want to progress for the game as quick as they can, like rank up as quick as they can, unlock everything they can for that. <laughs> that one weapon, but uh, yeah, they're, they're just trying to get high KD. I know those type of players are out there. I've got a friend who is just there for K, uh, high KDs. Shout out to Jordan. Um, I know that's what he does. He runs a shotgun all the time. He says it's just the best way to get a high KD. Because why he says in, in his opinion, he says to me when I asked him, he went, "What's the point in using an LMG or an AR if I can do the same thing with a shotgun and it kills you quicker?" Which I've got to believe. I've got. I'm going to be honest. I completely agree understand completely to the casual players I completely understand but as a content creator you know just started a little well we're about six months to seven months into this YouTube channel and it's been amazing to grow this channel with you guys but personally as a content creator probably not the best resource to come to about this but as my in my opinion I want challenge I want to challenge myself I want to bring out good decent gameplay videos for you guys a uh, good, de decent gameplay for streams over on Twitch and YouTube. So I'd rather use uh, SMG, uh, uh, an AR, LMG, sniper, you know, ever, even the shotgun. Sometimes I, I would like to have like a variety, variety. I can't say that word properly. <laughs> variety of guns and weapons that I use. So it's not the same thing all the time. But I can honestly understand where the casuals come. So uh, multiplayer as a whole, good TDM. I love cyber attack. I am really surprised by this. Uh, this game mode because I am in love with this game mode. I love it. Domination. I'm not really a fan of Domination, but uh, to develop rank up, I have been playing a couple few few Domination because gives up most. Uh, I'd say it probably gives out a little bit more XP than say like Team Deathmatch or Search and Destroy or something like that. Match it, maybe I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Domination. I kind of like. I understand it. It's just not something I'm going to play regularly. Search and Destroy, I love Search and Destroy, just trying to hard, find, hard to find some players who want to play with me to play Search and Destroy. <coughs> Mark, <coughs> Miss Shoga, because <coughs> uh, some people just uh, don't seem to like this, and I understand because it's more, it is more campy, I'll admit that, but I, I enjoy Search and Destroy, it's something that I can do, if I'm feeling a little bit burnt out on the game, I could jump into a, uh, an S and, G ma S and D match, and I can just grind in there and grind in there and not be bored it's, it, I, I really enjoy Search and Destroy but uh, yeah yeah. Headquarters I'm actually playing at the minute because I'm trying to do a challenge for my uh, my missions which I believe is get 75 kills in Headquarters I think it's the 6th or 7th out of out of 8 mission and uh, yeah so I've been playing that a bit um, I've never really been a fan of Headquarters but I understand the appeal and stuff like that it's uh, like domination but obviously it moves and it's just the one We'll say uh, in quotations flag, and uh, yeah, it's it's quite an enjoyable. You know, one hard point. Uh, I haven't really played this. I played I think one or two because I always as soon as I get a new game, I try every single mode. That's that's the first thing I do because I want to get a feel for the game and different modes. See if I can make videos on them. like uh, back in BF4, so I did a session destroy road to 100 wins with uh, Habo Mark or sorry Habo Mishoga, and uh, yeah, we tried to do that, and uh, it wasn't really typically getting. I like, know so like, it was a bit boring to watch back myself. I would admit that, so we stopped the series. But uh, I always play every single game to see what I could possibly, in my creative head, <laughs> creative is a very loose term I use on myself. Uh, try and find stuff that I can bring to you guys that might be new or fresh that you haven't really seen from other YouTubers like Hardpoint or even uh, Headquarters stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, Hardpoint, yeah, not really my thing. Kill confirmed, I love it. TDM, it's just pretty much TDM tags. Love it, completely love it. It's just not really. I'd rather play TDM over than kill confirm because I'd rather get the confirmed kill in TDM than uh, nearly get the tag and get blown up by a goddamn bouncing Betty or a Claymore. Which again, Claymores are still a problem, but you know, you we gotta learn to deal with it as a community. It's just what we gotta do. TDM 20 and Dom 20, awesome. More of it. 
I want to see a. Um, I would actually love to see like a uh, Session Destroy 20, that would be pretty cool, 10 on 10. <laughs> but anyway guys, yeah, we'll get to Grand War. I, unpopular opinion, I'm, well, I'd say amongst my, my, my uh, group of friends I've got, unbiased as well. Well actually, this, this opinion is very biased. I hate Grand War. I just, I hate it. If they got rid of the tanks, I'd probably like it a lot more, but um, again, I'll just quickly show you guys. As part of the, uh, where is it? As part of the missions, uh, right here, I had to get 30, 30, capture 30 flags in Grand War. That took me about half an hour. Uh, you might say, you might think that's quick, you might think that's slow. I would have been able to accomplish that mission a lot faster if it were not tanks in the stupid game because all people do with the tanks is push to a flag or in between two flags and just start firing in all directions and getting kills without even trying. I hate that in this mode, they get rid of tanks, I'd probably like this mode and probably play a lot more on streams and videos and stuff like that, but in my opinion right now, 4 out of 10, Grand War is a horrible game mode in my opinion right as of now. If they get rid of the tanks like I say, amazing. I would love to play it, I'd probably enjoy it a hell of a lot more. Moving on to the next one, we've got Gunfight. And Gunfight is surprisingly one of my favourite game modes in this game. I, uh, me and, me and Mishoga absolutely loved, we, if we, we just got on, we jump into Gunfight, we get warmed up, and we love it. It might make us rage a few times with some less, uh, more than dodgy uh, kills uh, on uh, their, the enemy's part, but then again we get them on them as well. So. You know, but yeah, gunfight, amazing mode. I love it so much. I love to see like a four v four type type of uh, gunfight mode as well. They'd be integrated into like future Call of Duty games, because then you can uh, you know you can run with like a group of four against four. Bam. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, actually, just thinking about that. That's part of it. It's pretty much just tedious. We have two. If you just get two people out, you love it, but, but yeah, but hey, anyway. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Shoe House as well, which is the current 24-7 mode, 6v3, 6v6 Moss Pit. The new map, I love the 6v6 new map. It is a, a really fun map to play on. It, it reminds me of Cod of Old. It, it's the first, actually, CSN Grey said it personally. If you haven't seen his video, by the way, go ahead and go check it out on the, yeah, on the, new, uh, the new maps. Shoot House makes you feel like you're playing like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2. It just brings that nostalgic feel back to you when you go into this map compared to the other maps on this game. It is amazing at the minute. And uh, apart from, uh, usually in the place of it is Realism, I believe, and Realism mode. Uh, I've got to be honest, I played one or two. I like, uh, but as Habo said in his video, which again, go check him out. He did his own thoughts on Modern Warfare, the game. at. Uh, just after a few, uh, week and a half of release, go check him out as well. Go give him a sub. Same with CSO Great. Go give him a sub, man. He's nearly at 22k. Let's give him 22k. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, Haybo, yeah, he's touched on realism as well. And just like uh, him, we share this opinion. Love the concept. Not my cup of tea. I know, typically British cup of tea. <laughs> Using that metaphor. But it is not my cup of tea. But I love the concept behind it. I really do. Hard point. Meh. <laughs> Forte. We've already gone over half point. Free for all. Now, free for all in this game. If you want to grind and get better at this game, if you want to get your reaction, I've saved it, I say this in every Call of Duty game that I get. Um, well, I haven't seen it on the channel, obviously, because I don't have a channel before, but I always say this to my friends and I who are like, oh, I, I just can't, I just hate it. I go in, I get killed, I get, to, it's just horror. I always tell them, jump into some free for all, whether it's with your friends or in a public match. It'll, I'm telling you this, it will drastically, after about 10 or 20 games, it will drastically improve your reaction time to where people are. It will drastically improve the way you go around the map. It will drastically improve the way you use a weapon, the way you set up your Kirky classes. In my opinion, this is the this is the game mode that every starter on Call of Duty should play. In my opinion. It just, the chaos of it, as well as the learning curve, is the best way, in my opinion, to get better of the game if you are struggling and if you are struggling in this game and you do play this please let me know in the comment section down below please come back and drop that comment down below i want to know if it helps just let me know if it helped you or not 100 percent for me when i started playing back in i don't know when was it uh, i think it was modern warfare 2 black ops 1 era um i uh, play free for all non-stop with my friend we jump into public matches i was terrible at this game i get like i don't know four and 28s KD all the time and I mean 
all the time. We jumped, started playing some free for all. I drastically improved over just even a couple of days, or even just a night session. I was improving. I went from four to ten to fifteen to twenty. You know, it, it does improve, in my opinion. Improve for myself. Improve for my friends in my uh, lo in my locality around me. It is a game mode you should play if you want to get better at the game. Pro matches. I'm gonna say this now. Pro matches. I'm at, uh, like one bit. I know it's not really a mode that people touch on in their videos usually, but I like to touch on me. I'm gonna start touching on these because um, soon enough you're gonna be seeing some Dodger duos come to Modern Warfare. If you don't know what uh, Dodger duos is, uh, back in uh, Black Ops 4, we would jump into a blackout game, into a custom blackout game. We'd have uh, up to I don't know anything from four to. Sometimes we had 12 to 14 people in there. We jump down free for all uh, on a blackout. We just go ham on each other. Then also we change it a little bit towards the end of BF4 where we do um, just custom games in a normal public, uh, like in normal multiplayer maps like these. You know, like a uh, like TDM free for all. We jump into like free for all match. We did like a uh, specialist only with Spectre, just a sword, because you were able to um, modify it so you could just. You could just use a sword over and over and over again. Uh, we that was a really fun time as well. So in this, I'm trying to integrate it into the custom games because, as you guys can see, you can n now. The thing I want to do is like I don't know, run speedball, but with ten people, which is possible, as you can see. TDM is still a mode for speedball. You can do it, and let's check the bots. Yeah, you can go up to six people. So yeah, I would love. To like get a load of people into a custom, like free for all TDM into like a, like a tiny map for like a 2v2 map, and then trying to dodge do is that way. But at the minute, I'm not too sure, so we'll be coming back to that shortly. But problem matches at the minute, I've been watching No Game. If you don't know who No Game is, go check him out. Uh, we should be doing a collab with Mr. Crispy007, who is a regular on that channel, who does a lot of uh, hide and seek custom games over on the No Games channel. And, uh, that's pretty much what it is. They go to custom games, hide and seek. They do glitch spots, which I'm not really typically a fan of, but it is fun and interesting to watch. So you, uh, if you haven't seen that already, go over to No Games channel. Give it a slap on the subscribe. Um, but yeah, custom games I think is going to be a big part of this channel in this year, this uh, game cycle. I really do, and I really hope it is as well because I love that kind of different aspect that we play custom games sometimes on our streams and in our videos on this channel because it's different to say I don't know uh, J Guard or K3 you know those kind of game those kind of YouTubers just go into like more player matches sometimes with subs sometimes with friends and it's just different because custom it's you and your friends we all get to like relax sit back chill have some fun together as content creators we play together stream together record together it's just a fun mode where we can just let loose and just have fun and then you guys got to you guys get to see that as well but yeah anyway guys in a uh, you've uh, go back to this menu here okay so campaign for me nine out of ten the only thing they could probably improve in is post game like post campaign missions they could integrate to like they could put spec ops onto the campaign as like the bonus campaign in my opinion and this first stock could be I don't know uh, like the, the rumored um, the rumored battle royale that they're gonna be the, the rumored to be bringing out or subject to disbelief or belief or whatever you believe that the rumor is or anything like that I personally hope it's true but um yeah, I'd, I'd love to see this third slot be filled in by the Battle Royale. I'd love to see this integrate the Spec Ops into it. So after the campaign, you then play as, instead of just playing as like random characters, you play as Price, the uh, Task Force 141, and then uh, you go through like these missions, and it's kind of a uh, bridge between this campaign and then the next uh, Modern Warfare Games campaign, which I'm hoping is going to be coming out, uh, no, if not uh, in 2021. And I'm hoping it's going to continue on from this. It's not going to be something completely different. And then the Spec Ops part, if you put it into the campaign, like, as like a post-campaign, will then build a bridge between that and this campaign and the next campaign. So you know the story between how they get from here to here. I think that's awesome. I love them to do that. Uh, multiplayer for me is probably a solid... 8 out of 10? Maybe a 7? Yeah, actually, yeah. A 7 out of 10, I'd say, for my player. Just because, not the actual game uh, mechanics itself, 
just the players who play it are ruining for are ruining this this mode for a lot of people, and I completely understand that. But for me, I love multiplayer. Campers don't really bother me that much. Claymores a little bit, but at the same time, you just have to change a perk and you can see them. So, you know what I mean? If you don't adapt to it, you can't really complain. If you try to adapt and then it keeps happening, feel free to complain as much as you want. But if you are not willing to adapt to your gameplay or your game style, and your playing style and how you move around or even your class setups that you think are perfect if they're not working for you you change a little bit so maybe you can see the uh like like engineer of uh, the past you can see the the lethal like the equipment like c4 uh, not c, yeah like the c4s the claymores the bouncing base if you can see them on map while you're playing it might improve your game it might help you more the campers but if you don't try and change it you don't try and change your play style I'm not, I'm not being funny guys, but that's kind of your own fault for not enjoying the game mode and enjoying the game because you're not trying, well, I'm not saying it's your fault for not enjoying it, but it's not your, it's kind of your fault for not trying to adapt to it. Because I adapted, I never run claymores, I never run nades usually, I usually just run um, something to heal myself up or a flashbang and then I run uh, usually a, oh, what is it? I used to run Tactical Insurgent, I'm on a Warfare games. Some of that helps me out more than trying to damage my enemies. I usually run one of those, like a decoy or something like that. I always run one of those type of lethals or um, equipments in games. But uh, this game has made me run, as you just saw on the screen, then a little cutscene going in the background. I've started running grenade launchers on some of my weapons. I've started running uh, frag grenades just to... Uh, smoke the campers out if they don't get the kill if they don't I can get the kill if they don't move at this place or they run out and then I can kill them because I've uh, smoked them out and stuff like that and then claymores just in case I want even like a sniping like a sniper situation or even just because if I get pissed if, I, if I'm running and I get pissed off can you get killed by claymores I'm, <laughs> I've started running with claymores to try and piss those people off as well but yeah guys anyway those are my opinions I'm on a warfare as a whole Please let me know your opinions down in the comment section down below. Shout me on, uh, come and talk to me on Twitter. DM me on Twitter if, if you uh, have any opinions that uh, I didn't cover in this game. Please do not fret to DM me on Twitter. It's at YT Dodger on Twitter. Come join me. The link will be down in the description below. Also, come join me on Twitch. We stream Monday through Wednesday to Friday, 11 p.m. GMT, British Standard Time. Come and join us. We also stream on YouTube once a week now. All the links will be down in the description anyway, guys. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. What are your thoughts? Let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Try it, guys. Ta -ra.